you know with this weight i want to talk to somebody that do not be scared do not be afraid yes you know there is no way no matter how anointed you are no matter how big you are no matter how god has uplifted you or elevated you for instance you can look at the lord jesus himself at a time the son of god himself god himself to put it simple as he was fasting the devil went to him you know but he had to resist the devil he had to rebuke the devil the thing is this even with those that were staying at sometimes you know when we've been taught about the anointing we just felt like it means if you are full of the holy ghost of the anointing there is fire around you even demons won't even come closer or satan won't move closer to you that is not actually entirely true why so because he went he entered peter while jesus was there and he tried to want to deceive the lord jesus and jesus at the end he was like get thee behind me satan so the thing is this let me tell you that the enemy will try you over and over he will try to check okay i failed once kind of try again remember i like describing it like this the job or the task of demons and the enemy is to ruin people's lives that is their duty that is their job that is their occupation meaning if you get to a point where you are tired or you are losing hope you are not doing yourself any favor, but you are just allowing the enemy to fulfill his task. At the end, they're going to get paid. They're going to get a bonus for fulfilling a mission well done. They're going to be promoted for making you their victim. That's why at the end of the day, these situations, when they come, they are not there to bring you down, but they are to awaken the sleeping giant in you. And that is why sometimes, haven't you seen that maybe if you watch those... Uh, uh what is this um churches where they deliver people at times when they are saying get out the end the demon won't manifest or they won't get out but the moment they shout loudly out of anger that is when the, the demon will come out that's when you can see that more fire is being released they are trying to make you release your fire they are terrified by your anger therefore i pray may god right now revive that sleeping giant in you may you shout louder yes the enemy wanted you to do that and god allowed it so that you can awaken the sleeping giant in you in jesus mighty name i pray that as you pray i remember one time i've been always giving testimonies that's why when i finish up the statement when i said when you pray i'm trying to describe this when i was studying i could not understand anything i've been giving this as a testimony countless times but it was up until when i stood up i began to pray aggressively and i rebuke misunderstanding to get out of my mind out of my brain and that's when instantly so when i went back to my study desk i began to understand everything instantly though i've been failing things that i've been failing to understand for days but instantly I started, it started to make sense because I prayed, I, I mean, I prayed and I spoke out of anger. And let your anger terrify your enemies. I decree and I declare in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.